I didn't notice this little paper clip. That's so cute. Hi everyone, Leanne here. Today I have this simple and beautiful box um, received from Lorelei, handmade by Lorelei. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with opening this box. Uh, let's see here. So one of the lovely gifts of starting this YouTube channel is connecting with other folks um, and getting to know uh, lovely people. And one of them is Lorelei. Um, and so I reached out to her maybe a couple months ago to see if she was interested in swapping inks and she was. And since then, we've been able to um, continue the conversation by sending each other uh, happy mail. And this is her second time. Ooh, can I open this? Let's open this. <laughs> Ooh, it's so sticky. Uh, <laughs> so now that I've opened it, um, it's her second time sending me some inks. Um, and she has just been so thoughtful and kind. Um, and so I'm really excited to open this up with you. So let's get started here. Okay. The last time she sent me inks, I enjoyed every one of them. Um, so I'm oh, interested to see what she has sent my way. Uh, this is really creative. She has some stamped images here. It's the silhouette of a house and two different, um, like, uh, two different designs in each little house stamp. And these are so cute. Laurel, I'm actually quite curious to know where you got these stamps because they're very cute and I would love to um, know where they're from. I love that ink too. Here is a letter. It was really lovely reading her handwritten note and seeing that it's uh, been written on um, on a piece of, I don't know what this could have been, it looks like, I'm not quite sure, but anyway, she just reused a piece of paper and stamped it and then uh, wrote a little note on it. And I think that's very charming and such a great idea. So she sent along quite a bit of inks here. She said that they were all Ferris wheel press inks. So um, this is gonna be a really fun swatching experience. Um, I have tried some of their shimmer inks. Uh, haven't really tried any of their non-shimmer inks. So this will be really fun because she has, she did mention in the letter that um, they're the standard inks. They don't shimmer. There's no chroma shading either in these inks. And her favorites out of the bunch are Moss Park, Green, and Goose Poupon. Very, very exciting. Okay. Setting aside the bubble wrap. And this item, I'm not quite sure what it is. It looks like a, like a memo card. Oh, that's really lovely. I'm gonna open this up just because I like to feel the texture of this. It's a nice card stock. It's really pretty. I love this. Um, it's almost like a an abstract landscape of lakes and mountains. Um, but what I also love is that these circles remind me of the types of ink swatching that I do. So that's really, really pretty. Oh, this will be great to add to a letter. And then, you know, it's fun to even feel um, and just feel for the texture of each of these little articles of paper here. This one here, it's a little feathery and it's got like a nice toothier feel on the exterior and then on the inside, it's quite smooth. This is Omo Ryuko, Omo Ryuko, Omo Ryuko .com. I'll have to look them up. Thank you, Lorelai. Very, very pretty. Today I'm gonna to use this Esterbrook book page holder. It's um, a page holder that I got from 
Melissa from Skydyed Inks. Does a really good job keeping the book open and flush. Very flat, it's very nice. And as I open up these bags of ink, looking forward to trying these out. These are all Ferris wheel press inks. This is Pink Eraser, Mirror Mirror of Moraine, Madame Mulberry, Oyster Hour. I have tried Oyster Hour. Moss Park Green, have yet to try this one. Actually, all of them I haven't tried except for Oyster Hour. This one is Double Raspberry. Goose Poupon, have yet to try that, but I've heard this is a nice dupe for uh, Pilot Iroshizuku Inaho, and I do love Inaho. And then this is Steeped Umber. Okay, I'm going for the ones that sounded a little bit more pinky. There's Madame Mulberry, Double Raspberry, and Pink Eraser. Steeped Umber I might try with the next batch. Here, let's try Mirror Mirror of Moraine. Okay, so why don't we get started with Madame Mulberry. Ooh, looking at this, it's almost like a grayish purple. Reminds me of the lavender gray inks that I had swatched a few months ago. Okay. I wonder if I dropped enough ink. Oh, interesting. Madame Mulberry. I thought it would be more like a berry, but it's not. Perhaps it'll dry... Um, dry to a different color, but right now it feels like a gray. I do see hints of purple, like lavender and pink in there. Oh, before I continue, I just want to give you a lowdown on my ink supplies or my swatch supplies. This is my handy dandy um, swatcher, and this is a condiment, a stainless steel condiment cup. Um, then I have this eyedropper to extract the inks. Um, today I'm using a broad thickness, a broad thickness glass dip pen by Kemi's Labo. I don't remember where I got this, but I'll provide that in the description box below. Um, this notebook that I swatch all my inks in uh, is the Hobonichi A5, uh, and it's a plain notebook and I have these cups of water and these are um, jam jars, the Bon Maman, Bon Maman um, jam jars. Um, and they're one of my, they're like my favorite drinking glasses too. Um, let's see here, I think, I think that's it. Oh, this is a ink vial um, holder that I got on Etsy and I'll provide their shop down below. And then this is um, like a paint brush, a paint brush rest. Um, and I got this from, gosh, it's, it's a very cute boutique shop um, and their logo has the spaniel, a cocker spaniel. Um, and I will also mention them in the description box below. But I've been, I've liked using this for resting my um, really just anything like my glass dip pen right now my eyedropper likes to rest there uh, I've also used it as a paint brush rest as well okay so as it dries I'm thinking this definitely would have um, been in my lavender grays ink swatch video had I had this back then definitely purple grays absolutely it's gorgeous okay let me do a writing sample I really like this color. Gosh, you know, just having it in a large ink swatch like that, uh, it's just so pretty to see how the ink behaves. Okay, so that's Madame Mulberry. Now, let's see. Let's stay on this berry name trend. I'm gonna do double raspberry. Just extracting as much of the water as I can. 
Oh, this is really pretty. It reminds me just initially of Pilot Iroshizuku Yamabuto. Oh, this is very pretty. It's a beautiful jewel toned ink. Ooh. Now I have a question for those of you who know, are Ferris wheel press inks known to be more wet or are they more dry? Are they more lubricated? Um, well, <laughs> lubricated, actually, I don't know. I, all I know is I've heard that Monte Verde inks are very lubricated, but I don't know if that's just all inks in general. But uh, curious to know, I don't, I haven't really inked up many pens with Ferris wheel press ink, so I'm not quite sure. So please let me know based on your experience. Oh, it's a very rich color. Let's do Mirror Mirror of Meringue. Oh, this is a really pretty color. This is also another jewel toned, like emerald color. Now I have eight inks. I don't know if I can put all eight on the spread here. Let's see, maybe I can. Oh, that's so pretty. You can't see this on camera, but I just noticed that I had a smile on my face just watching uh, this ink kind of separate or kind of relax on the page as I took off the stainless steel cup. It has like a almost like a neon electric qual color quality to it. Um, this is how I imagine the Pilot Hiroshizuku Sui Goku to look like. I just ordered that ink. I haven't yet used it, um, but that's what it reminds. It reminds me of this color for some reason or of that ink, um, but I really, really like it. Well, I'm going to do something different um, only because I don't have enough space. Um, I mean, I could, but then the, the aesthete or the, I don't know, the, maybe the perfectionist in me um, doesn't appreciate that uh, everything is so bunched up down in this corner. But what I'm going to do is actually show you a new way that I have been swatching inks that I've really, really enjoyed. Um, so this is an ink vial that I got from Paris. Oops, I had to stop there. My um, phone just, my, I, I had an alarm set and it just went off. Uh, so anyway, this is one of the ink vials that Paris sent me for uh, one of our ink swaps. And um, I've been using um, this particular vial because the cap is very smooth. There are some that have grooves, like this one, for example, has um, some grooves, uh, but this one is completely flat. There's no indentation, no markings on here. And so this this little, this little cap has provided some lovely swatches for me. So I'm going to do one or two. Let's see. Oh, pink eraser and for um, the ink vial cap, I've been using one drop because the cap is so tiny. So pink eraser, just looking at the vial, it looks more red than pink. Well, you're gonna have to take a look here because I, I absolutely love the um, impressions or the swatches that these little caps make. Aren't they pretty? Now this color, Reminds me of Lamy's Red that I um, swatched last month during the Pele for the Pelican Hubs ink swatch uh, ink swatches video because it's got like it's like a bright a very bright orangey pink orangey pink orangey pink red yeah I bet that would be uh, a dupe for Lamy Red.
Well, you'll have to let me know how you like the smaller ink swaps or the ink swatches. I particularly think they're very cute. Get here, let's do Moss Park Green. One, two. I'm going to use a small ink file cap. When I was doing the olive green inks, um, I had done um, you know an ink comparison of olive green and I had a viewer mention to me that I should definitely try Moss Park Green. I uh, haven't tried it and so now I love that I get to try it now. That's one. See, look how pr I think it's so gorgeous. It's so pretty. I just found out I don't have to twist the vial. I can just stamp it. It's almost just like making that little impression and wiggle it a little bit and then it leaves a beautiful stamp. Or a little bit of, um, is it Robert Oster? Robert Oster's avocado. It leans more blue than yellow, I would say, or maybe more, I'm not sure, like a muted uh, green. Next up, let's do Oyster Hour. Interesting. I don't know if I have a color like this. I almost expect it to have a little bit of chroma shading. Uh, reminds me of a Sailor Ink Studio ink. As it dries, I feel like I'm noticing a little bit of pink in there. And where the ink begins to pool, it reminds me of uh, Pilot Iroshizuku Inoho. Um, but the lighter parts of the swatch definitely do not remind me of that. Why don't we do Goose Poupon? Because I, I feel like the colors will be kind of similar to each other. Okay. Ooh, this already off, off the bat, when I look inside the vial, it's got like a green gold. Oh yeah, this one already leans more green compared to the Oyster Hour. Oh, look at that, it's so pretty. Okay, last but not least, we have Steeped Umber. Oh, this is pretty. It's a warm brown, and um, just because these inks came from Lorelei, it reminds me of uh, Platinum Brune Sepia. That was one of my favorite inks um, from our last ink swap between Lorelei and myself. There we go. As the inks dry, um, I think I'm most drawn, as far as ink swatches, or the, the larger swatches go, not the writing samples, I'm really intrigued by Goose Poupon because you could see some of that green and then there's got the dark brown um, color in there as well and the shading looks really pretty in the Goose Poupon. Uh, I also like Moss Park Green, it reminds me of more of a saturated, a deeper um, color compared to color versus APSC. Um, or also reminds me of avocado, uh, Robert Oster avocado. Uh, I also really like Mirror Mirror of Moraine. Um, I do like jewel toned colors, so they're double raspberry. Uh, the swatch is very pretty. And I think the writing sample too, it, it's, um, it's very pretty. You know, I, I it reminds me of um, Yamabudo um, in that I didn't really think I would like Yamabudo as much, but then once I had it inked in a pen, uh, I really enjoyed writing um, with that particular ink color. And Pink Eraser, I don't see it so much as pink. It definitely leans more red. Um, I do like how the smaller ink swatches are um, offering some dynamic shading um, and then Madame Mulberry, uh, Mulberry, it's not very dark, but looking at the writing sample, that's intriguing to me. Um, 
and it definitely reminds me of uh, all the purple gray inks that I had swatched a few months ago. All right, so it's been a couple of hours. Um, just ran some errands, came back, and as I'm looking at all of these inks, none of them have any shimmer. Um, they are just, um, just beautiful shading inks for the most part. Um, when I looked at Moss Park Green, definitely I thought of Color versus APSC and also Robert Oster's Avocado. Um, looking at, let's see, the, uh, where is it? The Olive Green Ink Swatches. Definitely you see that, actually I would say it looks most like Color versus APSC. Uh, avocado is a little bit more yellow. So then as I look at Moss Park Green, it looks most like Colorverse APSC. But what I'm noticing is that in the more saturated areas, there's a little bit of like a lavender kind of pinky hue. Whereas with uh, Colorverse, it's just a darker shade, a darker shade of green. Um, so in that way, it's more like avocado because in the darker areas here, it has more of a pink color um, and then Moss Park Green has a little bit of like a pinky purple. Uh, looking at Oyster Hour, um, I actually did do kind of like an ink comparison with other more muted pinks and browns. Um, so here it is. There's Ferris Wheel Press's Oyster Hour and I had it compared, uh, just, you know, compared to Colorverse Brunch Date. This is Wearing Old White Rabbit. Oop. There we go. Ferris Wheel presses Oyster Hour. Here's Colorverse Brunch Date. This is Waringal's uh, White Rabbit. Taranishi Opera Rose and Waringal's Twelfth Night, William Shakespeare. So um, it's definitely the most brown, the most tan out of these like blush pinks and pinky browns. So this is definitely more brown. It's like a muted, I don't know, like a muted mushroom color. And then when I look at Goose Poupon, I see uh, Pilot Iroshizuku Inaho. So if I were to look here, there's Pilot Iroshizuku Inaho. Um, Goose Poupon looks more green, like yellow green, whereas uh, Inaho is definitely a little bit more brown, more tan than it is green. So there's Goose Poupon, Steeped Umber. Um, I thought of, uh, where is it? Uh, Lorelei's um, ink swatch where she, or an ink where she had given me uh, Platinum Brune Sepia. Where is it? Oh, is it here? Oh, there it is. Platinum Brune Sepia. Um, it's definitely, this is definitely a little bit lighter. This is definitely darker. Um, and then just quickly looking here, it kind of reminds me of Tierra Colorada. Do you see that? Yeah, they look quite similar. Um, looking at Madame Mulberry, um, I noticed it looked a lot like Troublemaker Inks' Moon River. There we go. Do you see that? Kind of similar there. Except Moon River definitely reminds me of a Sailor Ink Studio chroma shading ink where it's got some pink in there. Whereas with Madame Mulberry in the writing sample, I, I don't really see it. Um, but it's like a gray lavender, which is really pretty. And then Ferris Wheel Press's Double Raspberry reminds me of Yamabudo. Let's see where I have that. Hmm. There we go. So Yamabudo, it definitely has some of this sheen, this oil slick sheen that I that I tend to really like. I like sheening inks. Um, but looking at these two, let me see it on camera. Yeah, this is definitely lighter in color. This is a richer, richer ink here. Um, and then Mirror Mirror of Moraine. I don't know if I have a color like it. Uh, I imagine it would be a lot like Pilot Iroshizuku's uh, Sui Goku. Um, 
but if I'm looking at it here, it's kind of like the Pannonia Ink Dependence Cheerio Water Bus. A little bit more of a greener version of Troublemaker's Copper Patina. I think that's probably it. Yeah, I don't really have a color like that, even with my teals and turquoise inks. No. So there's there's that. Um, and then pink eraser, I thought it looked like um, Lamy's Red, but then when I looked at Lamy Red, it looked nothing like it. So this is Lamy Red. This is like a, a neon, neon pinky, orangey red. <laughs> Um, and then this one, compared to the Lamy Red, is more muted, um, and there's no sheening. None of these inks sheen, uh, and I really, really like them. It's hard to pick a favorite, to tell you the truth. Um, just the way that they all swatch, it's really, really beautiful. Uh, it looks like there might be some sheening in Mirror, Mirror of Moraine. Pink Eraser is really pretty uh, in its shading. I think all of them look very lovely. They all shade a little bit. Uh, and as far as, I really can't give you a favorite. Um, as far as just the swatches alone, like the, the circular swatches, um, I really do like Mirror Mirror of Moraine. This pink is very lovely. This gray is also quite lovely. Uh, I'm curious to see how it'll look in a pen. It might look very light, maybe too light for, for my tastes. Um, Moss Park Green looks really gorgeous. Uh, maybe, maybe Moss Park Green would be one of my favorites and possibly Goose Poupon. Steeped Umber, I think uh, Adventure Denali, Alicia had inked it up in one of her pens recently and she seems, she seems to really like it. Um, that's really pretty. But I think Moss Park Green and Goose Poupon would be my favorites. Please tell me what you, what you like. I mean, please tell me what your favorites are here, which ones you have already, you already have and I am curious to know what you think about these inks. Um, yeah, well, that's, that's it. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.